Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena, let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready now, so your energy is 10 of Wands. Two of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. Your person's energy is Page of Wands, the Empress, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Meeting Energies, the Magician, Seven of Swords, which can be a problem, Seven of Pentacles, Time Factor, Three of Swords, and the Temperance. Patience running out, it seems. Our focus, two of cups. Amazing energy, but we have to put it in perspective. The devil. This is a cycle for some of you guys. One that um, is becoming more and more unpleasant because of the ten of ones in particular. Hmm questionable situation it's like the two of you cannot work uh, together you can make suggestions but your person maybe is not receptive enough uh, they can always be focused on something different than your suggestions there can be stubbornness guys Devil, Four of Pentacles, and some of you can even think that you are wasting your time. Sorry to say that. Unexpected visitors. I would say unexpected turn of the events for this person when they realize that you can call them out in some sense because you will have to make a decision. Slow and steady, the Seven of Pentacles. The connection is not uh, developing. The connection is not moving forward positively. Peaks of joy, where are they? You tell me, the sun can be an energy that follows along, uh, but um, it seems a question mark in this flow. Maybe the connection started in a satisfying way, but it seems that there is a time factor here at play, uh, one that can truly work against this relationship. We have to say that sacred pool can be the same uh, type of sacred pool that we can find in the Temperance Major Arcana. Field of dreams can be an energy about aspirations, expectations, or maybe this person is daydreaming when it comes to the fact that they think that your connection is all good, when in reality, it is the exact opposite. It is also interesting, guys, the fact that your person gets the three of wands. We know that the man is waiting for the sun to come up. You are the sun, basically, for this person, but... Mm, is the connection healthy? I mean, it's like this person relies on you guys quite a lot, maybe way too much, and this can become, uh, in its own way, a devilish cycle, because the Ten of Wands can be about the fact that you are doing all the work, also following the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords can describe a self-sabotage that this person maybe is manifesting without even realizing it. The page of ones can be a superficial energy. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. This energy can be the page of ones. The phoenix, bottom of the deck. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. A transformation is due, guys. We have to understand if 
the transformation can mm, kind of um, bring you guys uh, down different roads. This is the point. So let's find out more. Let's see. Uh, I am curious about the Empress. And then also curious about the Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands as a combination of energies. So Empress first. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. A lot of passion, we can say that, uh, but um, no consistency, guys. If there is a betrayal um, involved in a situation like this one, uh, this connection uh, is going away. But if the Knight of Wands is a lack of effort following the consideration about the fact that you are doing all the work, basically, when it comes to this connection, your person is um, casual about that. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, it's no big deal, you know, we can sort things out later on. You keep doing your thing because you are great, you know, and I'll keep doing my thing, but basically they are not doing anything in favor of this connection. Um, I have to say that intimacy between the two of you can be amazing, all right, but, you know, we have to put uh, things in perspective. And if you can tell yourself that the connection that you are sharing with this person is more a source of struggles than pleasures, you will have to make a decision about that. The Empress can even be a crossover energy because maybe um, your person sees you guys in an amazing way, but it's like... Uh, they are not able to match. And then distractions that can be different, you know, according to the scenario. So what about this Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands combination, uh, holding back the Ace of Pentacles. So allow me to say, guys, um, a cornerstone, an agreement, a way of sharing the tasks and duties um, that can be involved in a relationship. And then looking elsewhere also, uh, it seems that this person is not focused on the connection, especially if we take away the sexual side of it. Ace of Wands, I think that uh, it speaks for itself. Death card, transformation, we got the keyword. If this person is only able to offer you an ace of one's energy, kind of brought to a higher level because of the devil, um, the situation is going to change. This person is not here to stay because it is not possible to grow together with them, so it's also impossible to manifest, magician, the divine alchemy, temperance related, that we can even associate to the Two of Cups energy. So love is a big question mark in this connection. That's why some of you can be heartbroken in some sense. This person wants to be with you when it comes to the Ace of Wands type of connection, and if the Ace of Wands is, you know, an energy extremely phallic that they offered to someone else, so if they are indeed a player, the betrayal cannot be forgiven or forgotten, guys. So let's see your perspective. I am curious about the Three of Pentacles, Sun combination of energies, guys. Because maybe the connection was kind of positive for you in the beginning, but now things have changed. 
Judgment, final decision, seven of wands. If the judgment is the idea to give this person another chance, resistance, roadblock, it's not going to happen. So it also follows the posture of the lady in the two of swords closed off for protection. There is the moon in the background, the opposite considering the sun. Something is off, something is not working because of the devil. A cycle, a pattern that um, is not positive and the cycle keeps going until at least one of the two people involved gets the pattern right and breaks free from the situation so that we are not stuck anymore. The Ten of Wands is the last mile for me, guys. Time is ticking for this connection. But some of you can truly have a legitimate desire for relief. A relief that somehow, some way, you are not able to earn or get in this connection. So, guys, in the meeting, allow me to investigate the Seven of Swords seven of pentacles three of swords as a combination of energies because the three of swords is basically increasing its influence um, day after day when it comes to this connection and the seven of swords can be the the type of energy that describes multiple issues you know so let's see what we can get Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrow, Arrows of Love, a flow of communication that can be influenced by the desire of your person to, to conquer you guys uh, when it comes to the sexual side of your connection. This person is lacking substance. Sorry to say that, but the Eight of Wands can be, in some sense, about the same ones that the man in the Seven uh, can decide to resist. Seven of Pentacles again, and the Ten of Pentacles. Legacy, a family picture, a stable relationship, a stable partnership. Um, it's not happening, guys, unfortunately. And that's why if you think about the future, a lot of indecision, a lot of questions and doubts can pop up because basically you can question the opportunity to build for the future with this person because they seem unable to change. And for others, if the Ten of Pentacles was already manifested on an energy level, the Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Devil, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, a combination of energies, um, has put in jeopardy the Ten of Pentacles. And now it can be extremely difficult to find a new agreement. So guys, I will not investigate the temperance and the magician because the temperance can be an energy about healing yes but you will have to understand if it is possible for you to try again when it comes to the opportunity to find common grounds with this person because it seems that you have been doing that for quite some time and so the temperance can become the opportunity to take the higher road. And if that's the case, it means that you can manifest the magician energy indeed when it comes to a vision that is not um, in common anymore with this person. So it means that you can drop the ball following the Ten of Wands. And the chariot, bottom of the smaller deck, speaks about success, guys. Yes, but it is not said that your success uh, can still be found with this person by your side. 
the death card guys uh, for this person can be about the fact that they can be swept away the death card is an energy that i personally love because it can be the opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past in order to work with an open field so that we can manifest new things but it seems that this person for some of you uh, already belongs to the past for several reasons that can go from uh, a lack of effort um, a lack of attention or maybe a betrayal that cannot be forgiven and forgotten guys unexpected turn of the events for this person because they can truly think that everything is fine between the two of you especially because your connection when it comes to its uh, sexual side is on point but we are missing all the other key factors in order to think about the future in a way that can allow two partners to grow together and if there is going to be one that can uh, call off this connection it can be some of you guys not this person not your partner so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful somehow some way let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you all the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye